Mm. Now it's a little bit better. My experience regarding developing and creating and learning with React, create React app itself, has been really a decent for consider as far what I have been learning throughout right now. And one thing that I have really admire about React is like how fast, how efficient, and how really easy it makes a developer to really build the app using the React app itself. But one thing during you know my development stage and the learning, what I really found out it's really like it really suck at one thing, and that one thing is nothing but an SEO itself. And though React is really a great thing for a client side library, you know you are not constantly hitting the server. You are not constantly unlike the server side editing or SSR itself. You are not constantly you know taking that uh, server's compute power. to render the pages itself so everything happens on your cloud client side you know the experience is bit smoother and feel like get it we it's 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 really awesome but the problem really arises with is to doing an seo thing itself now earlier i have made a video on react helmet itself you can check that up right here many of the people have got suggestion like hey hey it's working we can see what we really want we want meta tag but that library itself is just you know render javascript itself so what that library is essentially helpful for you for it's like you know when the google google crawls your website you know for the javascript purpose it just is where it is but when you just kind of want to really uh, make an og or a link preview itself just like what we if what we really copy link from various social sites and really post and share it with our friends so let's take for this example if i really just kind of go to the youtube as well click this video and copy this link and try to share it on whatsapp itself you will instantly get the preview but if you really try to make it with your own create react app itself you will not able to do that because everything that the react architecture really does is to just render it's just single html page and there is nothing everything is rendered with javascript as well so what essentially you are really dependent upon is you know you get only one html page itself and and that html page you can really add a title or tag meta tag itself or an open graph protocol for those who guys you really don't know what open graph protocol is uh, basically it's essential for uh, to make your link previewable for any site as well although you can really add a meta tag itself so what you are really essentially is dependent upon is to really one html page and you can just make meta description title tags just for only that one individual index.html page if you want a link preview and also for that seo page itself but what if really happen you want to really just kind of get multiple through it so during the time of this recent really of making this video right here the ben award oh, he's really cool tech youtuber really makes bunch of cool uh tech videos on programming itself and latest trends and technology go check in check out his channel up right here so recently what he did exactly when i was recording here so he really made exactly on the same topic that i am really making on he really topic the same issues about what it is so you can really preview the link itself and although there are really various ways of getting out it so first is what i really talk about react helmet the second one is of really like you know a library called react snap itself so what essentially it really does is it's just during the uh, npm run build it goes just goes out and parse the entire uh, your basic code structure and generate a static html file itself so when you just kind of go and try try out to really just kind of give uh, get a link preview itself it automatically renders for you but but what really happens you know if you really want to do a gigantic social networking site or a blog post site itself let's say if you want to really build a scalable high performance itself uh, any application like facebook or a wordpress or blogger itself and you, and you want to really just kind of get in dynamical render you want to really just kind of create the meta tags and the open graph tags og tags og title tags bunch of other things instantaneously and dynamically you can't really create it manually itself so what really happens right now the real shit really starts from here itself so the problem with the react itself the how it really works is if you in order to really facilitate facilitate with that open graph link preview and the 
any every meta tag itself so you really need to really you really need to depend upon the various third parties or a type of process itself so one of the library that i really mentioned is react helmet and react snap but they are really pretty limited itself so if you are if your project is not really frequently updated and you have only four or five routes like home page about page login sign up and couple of various other testimonies itself then it's okay but as i really said if you want to really build a scalable thing and now what really happens is you really need a something a api or backend service or solution itself that could really allow you to really just kind of get that link preview itself and that could really work synchronously with the your your react application routes itself so one of the thing that i really came out is like you know the alternate of react that is nextjs now nextjs is essentially a server side version of react itself that really just exactly solves this issue and if you really use the helmet with the uh, nextjs you won't really uh, get fall into any problem itself but the benefits that you really get in the client side rendering with the single p uh, with single progressive applications like react view or angular you won't get that with the server side tech with any server side tech whether it's nextjs whether it's ejs handlebar or any other frameworks with whether, whether that might be in language or like python or whether it's like nuxjs a uh, server side version of vuejs as well so that is the kind of a trade off that you have to do with it and number number two solution regarding is to create an apis or creating a proxy apis that could really facilitate it with it so what essentially really uh, right now it does when you persons really or when you just kind of go to any social networking site or and share that link to it it essentially look ups to that index.html page itself and then you and it finds out or oh, what are the meta tags itself and then it displays out there so if you really need to create such an backend architecture service that could really just do exactly with it you know it could really take all the html core css code from the react itself and take that proxy api and combine in such a way that could really allow you to do it now this is one of the challenging thing to do and the things really starts to be some wicked right here because you know what i really see a lot of trends right now that a lot of you know digital marketers out there they want to really try out to get into the react stuff itself earlier earlier they was they were really used to kind of just get into coding self like in the, uh, html css and basic javascript as well but now what is they really have because of the complexities and the thing that they have to do deal with the react itself the skill set and the you know entry barrier really gets much more higher itself and that creates a lot of friction for many people and to get to adopt these things as well for an seo stand point of view because no one wants their application to be really hidden hidden in the corner itself everyone wants really that their application should be interactive and easily shareable to others as well so what is the solution of it well there is not much you can do with it but uh apart from what i really said either you just use react helmet and react snap together or what you can really do is you can use nextjs but although you need need to count out uh pros and cons between it uh between i'm really going to make a video on what is the difference between the next js and the react js what should you use and what are the pros and cons of doing both what are the performance difference and what kind of get through it and and i really said that you know you can really want to set an api service or a proxy apis that could really work synchronously and together with each other as well so as you can really see that there is a bunch of really friction and challenges out there but as it's really said that you know opportunity lies where the challenges are so it's really a good on my side as well you know uh, it's really my deep desire that i really want to make an end to end uh react seo course it's started from fundamental of react architecture itself to basically what it really goes into depth of what the react helmet is what the snaps is how can make your own proxy apis how the mechanism actually works with react itself so uh that i'll be really going to make into the next few months itself so if you have your suggestion on what should i really implement on it just mention down in the comment box below and i'll be really glad to listen your feedbacks as well so if you have any question queries or suggestion just let me know 
and that's for it today i just want to make a short video on what's the thing that is really missing out so yeah till then stay connected stay subscribed to my channel and i'll see you next time